Raquel Rodriguez, Liv Morgan teaming up against Rhea Ripley and Tiffy Time. Tiffany Stratton. As Liv Morgan in control yeah. now. Yeah. Hooks the leg of Tiffany Stratton. Well, perhaps predictably, this hastily thrown together tag team of Tiffany Stratton and Rhea Bloody Ripley has fallen apart of the seams very early on. No cohesion, no strategy, no chemistry. And you've got to contend with the former women's tag champs of Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan. That's a good point, Wade. So much time spent as tag partners through the years, and you see they haven't missed a beat. They can right back up from where they left off. Knowing each other's skill set and ability, and that's getting the best of Tiffany Stratton right now. And also you see the sheer pure power of Raquel. Total control. The vertical suplex, Raquel and Liv doing damage. You're toying with Tiffany Stratton. Hooks the leg for the win. And Tiffy time able to kick out. The center of the universe must feel like it's imploding in this match. Nothing is going the way of the buff Barbie doll. Gingerly reaching out, trying to get a tag to Rhea Ripley. Who perhaps is enjoying watching this beat down of Tiffany Strand almost as much as she would enjoy getting her hands on Raquel Rodriguez. And backbreaker as Rodriguez enjoying this and stretching out Tiffany Stratton as well. Stratton is as limber as they come, but even her frame is getting pushed to its limits by this powerful force. But it is Raquel Rodriguez. All that leverage from Rodriguez. On that uppercut. As Tiffany's been absorbing so much punishment. The cover. Stratton has spent 90% of this matchup getting stomped in that ring. Raquel making it look effortless. Scrambling for that tag, and I'd say Rhea Ripley... That was a lackluster effort, wasn't it? Did not try particularly hard to get Tiffany Stratton out of danger here. And now she gets the tag on Rhea Ripley. All right, fun games are over. And now this is a huge problem for Liv Morgan. Long-standing rivals. Big clothesline from Rhea. And a drop kick that sends Raquel flying. And finally, a little taste of vengeance for Rhea Ripley. Fighting wars on two fronts here. It might be a little too much. Who am I kidding? Nothing is too much for the Eradicator. That knee hit hard. She wants the rip tie. It's exactly what she gets. Stacks her. And Raquel comes in to save it. Going to do maximum damage to the flame of Rhea Ripley. Rhea simply too wise to it. Those two former training partners, former friends, imploded during their time in NXT, and they need no excuse whatsoever to throw hands. Tiffany Stratton going for the world's greatest moonsault, missing. Meanwhile, Rhea Ripley. As Tiffany Stratton was up top looking for the prettiest moonsault ever. Meanwhile, Rhea Ripley was looking for a riptide. The next thing you know, Nia Jax comes from out of nowhere. Well, Nia Jax, who certainly is not supposed to be here, look at the wreck shot, but look at this from Ripley! And Liv Morgan takes out her leg. <laughs> And just beating down now on Rhea Ripley. Just when Ripley was about to pull off the unthink. Wait a second. Now Nia Jax turns her attention on Liv Morgan. The woman she will be facing at Crown Jewel. November 2nd. These two women will go after it in the first annual Crown Jewel Championship. Oh, God. It's squashing time. Annihilator.
And now if you are Miss Money in the Bank, what a golden opportunity. It's happening. Could this be a cash-in? But the first opportunity here on Raw. With the briefcase in hand. Wait a second. A little bit Dirty Dom comes in the saber. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Just in the nick of time. Tiffany Stratton was moments away from possibly becoming the world champion. But 